question. What beer is best? Black beer. I know, I know, I know. It's debatable. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips, and how-to videos. Today, I seriously do have a question for you. What's more annoying than your devices going through batteries like crazy? Answer. When your device uses a specialty battery like the CR2450 or even the 2032. So we got here the SmartThings motion sensor and uh, if you open it up here you see it takes the 2450. Mentioned this before in another video on a sensor I did from Monoprice. This motion sensor from SmartThings is a battery hog. It will kill one of these batteries in less than a week. Two weeks max. But yeah, it's a battery hog. Yeah, I know these are cheap batteries, but the original Panasonic that came with this motion sensor didn't really do that much better. So I got a little hack I want to do. How about we get rid of the 2450s and just put regular AAA batteries into this thing? Well, how are we gonna do that? Good question. We do need help. Luckily for you, you can get it off of Amazon. What is it? Well, let's open it up and take a look. It's basically a AAA compartment. So you put your AAA batteries in here like so, and bam, soldered a negative and positive wire onto here, and you've now converted CR2450 device to accept AAA battery. What we got to do is we have to make sure that the voltage match up. So basically these 2450 batteries are 3 volts. Well two AAA batteries equal 3 volts. That is why we're using two AAA batteries. The real test will be to see how long these AAA batteries last in this device. But I'll tell you one thing, even if it lasts only a week, it's still better than these 2450 batteries because I can just go to the store, pick up a bunch of these AAA batteries, and just pop them in like no tomorrow. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to solder these two points onto the terminals here. So if you look closely, we have the negative terminal, which is the bottom of the battery. That's right here. That's for negative. And the positive terminal will be this one right here. So, red to this, and then black to that. Alright, so I finished soldering it on. It's not pretty one bit. It looks like a mess. A huge mess. I was using a, uh, a very fat chisel on the uh, soldering iron. So it kind of like, you know, I wasn't able to get in there exact, but I mean, it'll do. So now let's just put this cover on, Take the wire off gently like that, and bam. And then I'm thinking of maybe to put the, the battery compartment on the top like this, or maybe on the side, I don't know. But before we carry on, we do need to test it. So let's go ahead and... There should be a green light right here. Let's go ahead and pop in our battery. All right, we got a green light. All right, so now we're mounting it. What I want to do is I want to use some hot glue. It's got some screws, screw holes that you can use, but eh. I think using some hot glue would be more than enough to get the job done. All right, here's how the finished product looks. Um, it looks like, you know, something a mad scientist would make, I guess. But um, it does work. Put in our AAA batteries. And it should be up and running. All right, according to the app, says that there is motion it's 99 degrees out here in the garage and we got a hundred percent battery life so seems like it's working to me now I will be using this in an upcoming project so if you're interested to see what I do with this be sure to subscribe and stay tuned 
Um, but yeah, this hack definitely avoids buying these expensive batteries. So, um, and you, I got a pack of, I don't know, how much, how much is in here? I think like a pack of five or six. Basically, I got a bunch for six bucks. So it's a small price to pay in order to convert your devices from specialty batteries to everyday batteries. And now that you've removed a limitation on your device, you can now use rechargeable batteries, thus increasing your savings. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't and you thought this video was not helpful, thumbs down work also. Please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell icon to stay notified when I upload new videos. And be sure to check me out on Instagram and Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And be sure to check out these videos if you like tinkering with your smart home.